Ahoy Malloy! Welcome to Talking in Teacups, the serious topic show with not so serious people. I might add to you folks that I'm a not so serious guy named Decipher, and joined alongside me is a fellow not so serious guy named Elbow, and a special guest, a very, very not so serious guy named West Philly AJ. And I just want to yeah. say, and I just want to say, it's good to be here with you both today. Oh, I'm a serious guy. I don't know what you're telling these people. I'm a serious guy. <laughs> oh, okay, serious business. You you standing on bidding ass today. All right, say say no more. Well, we have a very special episode and it's themed today, and I'm glad that you guys are both here. But if you didn't know, you could follow us on Twitter. Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, Threads, and TikTok at Cypher's Pit Gaming. And if you want to support the channel, you can go to patreon.com slash Cypher's Pit Gaming. We have some lovely tiers and we would appreciate the support. But if you can't do any of those things, that's A-OK -okay, because you can watch for free here on YouTube. We do podcasts all the time. Now coming up next, a baker's dozen, a news roundup of last week's biggest stories. And I got to tell you, this this uh, baker's dozen is moldy and spoiled because I've been sitting on these stories for a while. We missed last week. I do apologize, but uh, let's get right into it. Sony reportedly cancels a Twisted Metal live service game as a part of their layoffs. So in the business world, there's a lot of layoffs going on. And Bloomberg has reported that Sony canceled an unannounced twisted metal live service game as a part of mass layoffs the game was still in early development uh, the developers were fire sprite is a uk based studio that's owned by sony yeah they were going to capitalize on the tv show which is working on its second season what do you guys think about that it's not it's not even like what's the point of canceling when you just renewed your season two for twisted metal that's something that shit you just kept on going running or you about to make a new game or something but it was kind of corny that's that's you should use that as a marketing purpose, it's like a marketing strategy, or something. That was kind of corny. It's because Maybe it was Sony's going to trying be trying to save money because they got so many flops recently. Yeah, and it was because it was going to be a games as a service. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants a games as a service game. Are, are they getting paid? I got a question. Are they getting paid from um, Last of Us since it was a Sony exclusive? Is since Sony getting paid? Show? Yeah, Sony gets paid for that. Yeah. Oh, you talking about the TV show Last of Us? Yeah. So I feel like. They could have kept Twisted Metal up there. They well, should have just made it for uh, free to play. Yeah, well, I don't know about the free to play stuff. Just make it a normal multiplayer game with local split screen and you know co op if they want. But none of that games as a service jive. I guess in the way that the industry is going, we want to make some extra dollars, so maybe throw in some skins. But it does not need to be a full yeah. blown games as a service. We don't want that. But in other games news that or games are being canceled, uh, EA is canceling a first person shooter game that was going to have a Mandalorian protagonist that was in development by Respawn Entertainment. The game was announced back in 2022 and this is the same studio that was behind the Jedi Star Wars Jedi series. So we won't be getting that Mandalorian bounty hunter game after all. That's, yeah, we don't need it. Ain't they working on um, the, outlaw, the outlaw game though? They are working on Jedi. No, that's Ubisoft. That's not EA. Okay, that's Ubisoft. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's yeah. um, that's Ubisoft. Jedi Outlaw comes out this year. I don't have that release date directly in front of me, but as far as games okay. that EA are working on that isn't canceled, the third in the series of Star Wars uh, Jedi, that game's working on. You know, with, um, Channing Moynihan. I'm saying his name wrong. I'm sure. But that sequel's coming out. You know, last year we had Jedi uh, Star Wars Jedi Survivor. So it's going to be a third game. It's coming out on PC, PS5, Series X, and S. And as, as long as it might take, you might even see it on the PS6 for real, for real. Just because. Man, am I the only one who's Star Wars out and Marvel's out? And it, I just feel like, oh my God, I'm just getting bombarded with franchises. I'm not. I'm happy you said that. I'm not a Star Wars fan. So I can't get Star Wars out, but I understand what you're talking about because it's a lot of Star Wars content getting pushed out. It's just like Marvel Wayne superhero stuff. I get it. It's annoying. Have it's either annoying. of you two? Well, I mean, obviously, Elbow hasn't. Have either of you, or have you, um, West Philly? Have you seen what's that Marvel show that just dropped? Echo. Yeah. Okay, so you're not too marveled out just yet. I haven't seen it. I do I, plan I, on seeing it. I just. I'm gonna always it. watch it because I'm a Marvel fan. I'm always watch it, but I am like tired of it because you're not giving nothing good. So I'm kind of tired. 
y'all keep the thrill and the train going, I'm not going to get bored. You feel me? <laughs> I feel you. Well, games that people are not bored with is, or are, Helldivers 2. So Arrowhead CEO, that's the person or developer behind Arrowhead, they said that, listen, the live service aspect of Helldivers 2 has to be secondary to delivering a full experience for the price. The game came out at $40, not $70, keep that in mind. And he also said that we view ourselves as a live service game because it's unfair to say anything else. So if you've played the game, you know that there's in-game currency and then there's currency that you can buy. Um, and then there's also like passes, but you can earn that like premium currency by playing a game and searching around the map to find it so he's just saying we can't try to lie and say we're not a live service game but it also has to be secondary to delivering a full game so he's just saying like, we're that. good we're good like we're not doing nothing shady basically <laughs> and I, yeah i love that too much respect um people who probably they're losing some respect the phillies so if either of you guys you know you remember dollar <laughs> dog nights well here's the thing the phillies is now replacing it so the phillies announced that they're replacing dollar dog nights uh with hatfield phillies franks bogo nights so the new giveaway is going to start april 2nd and now fans will be able to buy one hot dog at regular price and then get a second hot dog for free at the uh concession stands throughout the ballpark so no longer will they have dollar dog nights so no more dollar dogs for Let me you just guys. tell you this. I don't blame the Phillies for this. I blame Joe Biden. Thanks, <laughs> Joe Biden. Oh, my <laughs> God. Here, here we go with the Joe Slanders. It's getting, that, it's getting that time. It's getting that time. Well, here's some people that deservedly need some slander. I'll let you pick who I'm talking about. Nintendo sues Yuzu, and they say that Zelda Tears of the Kingdom was pirated over one million times on PC. So the people who used Yuzu, which is an emulator on the uh, PC that allows you to play Switch games, they said that somewhere along the line, someone got an inside copy of Tears of the Kingdom before it came out. They uh, duped the game off of the cartridge, uploaded it online, then people downloaded it online and updated and the people who made yuzu updated yuzu to be able to run the game so nintendo's fully blaming them and they also have settled out of court at this time because i said my news got old and they they've been discontinued or they've been i guess legally required to discontinue development and pay 2.4 million dollars in damages they've agreed to pay sorry that's what i meant to say they have agreed to pay wait they, they agreed to pay how much 2.4 million dollars in damages that's all? Yeah. Yeah, that's all. That's it. Yeah, it hey, sounds hey, like they lost them sixty million dollars. Yeah. <laughs> they lost reality, a lot more, did, yeah. Did, did they really? That, yeah, but it's all about now. just trying to stop it from future happenings. They was like, listen, we're gonna yeah. stop you guys. Try to cut it's, it's really a hydra though. So Nintendo cut one head off of the snake. But this isn't a new story because I didn't get a chance to write it down. But there's a, a sequel or sorry, not a sequel, there's another program coming out called Suzu and it's working on. So you cut one head off, another head's already growing, dude. So can I just ask, are we okay? I feel like I'm okay with emulators for games that have been out for a decade or more. Mm-hmm. When you're talking about emulating a game that hasn't come out yet. That's kind of... I don't feel good about that. Fair enough. Fair enough. Not that I've ever emulated or pirated anything. Yeah, I don't know. I, do emulate. I don't know I'm nothing about emulate. any of that stuff. <clears throat> I definitely emulate Pokemon, all the old Pokemon games. I ain't gonna tell you which emulator I use, but it's one of the known ones ever. Well, trust me, Nintendo's... I've never emulated, Nintendo's downloaded illegally, or stole anything. So I just want people to know, Lawrence Brown, Philadelphia PA has never <laughs> I'm going to keep you up. One of the <laughs> biggest franchises that y'all got partnership with stole Dragon Quest. Stole, stole the whole shebang, like, the whole shebang from Dragon Quest. Pokemon stole Dragon Quest. We ain't going to get on that. It's a whole different story. Listen, if you pirate so, a game, what's next? You're going to pirate a car? Hmm. It's like, no, let's you move pirate on. Pirate a person? <laughs> <laughs> you you me some say the <laughs> what's really what you was about to say? I want to see if you can pirate a car. Let's try. You want to see? Well, with these Teslas yeah. and these electric cars, you know, you just get a 3D printer. You can just get the whole shebang. All right. Well, anyway, speaking of you know, big companies doing things, Amazon Prime Video they've dropped the ability for you to use Dolby Vision and Atmos unless you pay extra. So yeah, if you already have Amazon Prime Video, uh, you can't use their Dolby Vision HDR and their Atmos surround sound unless you pay that was extra 2.99 per month for its new tier. They have a new ad free tier. So this new system launched all the way back in. January. January, but it's just now coming out to UK, Germany, and Canada. So yeah, if you uh you want that, that HD, 
So if you're watching Amazon Prime Video and you want HDR and surround sound, you just got to pay to get on a new tier. Basically, you know, they oh. tear it out. Yeah, yeah. I just watched John Cena new movie this morning before I went to work. That John was in HDR. Are you telling me you want to give me some regular BS? You know what? I'm going back to DVDs. I'm, I'm buying. I'm about to go back to Walmart and go in that bin. I, I watched that movie. Uh, what's, your, uh, what's your quick thoughts on Ricky Stanicki? That's John Cena's new movie. What are your quick thoughts? Um, he's taking the Zef Efron approach of when him and Seth uh, Rogen did um, Neighbors. I'm not mad at it. It's just the fact that, see, I can't look at you like this, bro. He, he was the <laughs> hard body boy on the ring. Like, I'm not ready for this right now. Like, we ain't The Rock. At least The Rock did action movies first. Walking Tall, Cool Down, whatever the movie was called. John Cena did action movies first. The I Marine. Know, and it was, yeah, it was trash. Seven, yeah. what is this, 12 rounds? Seven rounds, seven, yeah, 12 rounds. It wasn't good, though. It wasn't better than The Rock. We talking about, oh, I like 12 rounds. Yeah. John Cena's best acting was in Trainwreck. I didn't even see Trainwreck. Me either. I would never get caught dead watching that movie. I don't even have to because John Cena was in it. I seen a good cameo. I'm like, oh, dude, with John Cena, he was funny. I'm not gonna lie, he was funny. That's why he's doing the movie now. Okay. That was also uh, Amy Schumer's movie right there. Well, real quick talking about wrestling. So WWE 2K24 just released, and some people have thoughts. So they said that universe mode is exactly the same. They said that the only good feature that they've added is when you're doing a cutscene, you can now choose who in the match is going to be uh, interfered against instead of just getting someone random from your roster. They said that money in the bank cash-ins already aren't working. Cash cutscenes are restricted to real superstars instead of using your created character superstars. And they said basically if they would have just took their fingers out the ear and listened to the community, they could have gave us a true sandbox. But instead, it's 2K being 2K. Say something play it. He's not in his cell. Since I played it, I'm playing it right now. It said I did 45 hours in this game. It's like I did more, and that's crazy. Um, how big do y'all want this game to be? Because <laughs> people are already mad at NBA 2K, how big the city is and everything. I saw the video want them on that. <laughs> I saw the guy. That's y'all so want mad. Them, if y'all want them to do all, them, all these things, bro, y'all going to have a game that's a 180 gig game. And y'all going to be mad even, even still. I'm so, not, I'm not going to be mad. Like, because that's you. more content, about, like, yeah. No, it's a, it's a community. So trust me, the 2K community is ruthless. They, they complain about it. Every little detail, every little gotcha. thing. They, they got it, yeah. So if they get that big, and right now on the PlayStation market, it's number two on the game, game store. And NBA 2K is number four. It's still in the top four. So they still... It's a good game. No problem. In other news, a software engineer wore his Apple Vision Pro goggles to his own wedding. Um, his wife was none too pleased by this. She said, hey, can you wait and not wear these during our wedding? And he was like, nah, I got to wear these joints now. I got work to do. I'm just sitting here taking these pictures, recording this moment. And she, like I said, does not look too pleased. And he looks thrilled. She's a beauty, too. <laughs> well, he squandered that because he's already showing her what he truly values, and that's the tech. And sometimes that's just how it is, man. Rough, it's rough out here. Nvidia could be working on a new gaming device to rival the Steam Deck. So it's reported that Nvidia is working on a premium handheld gaming device to rival the Steam Deck, which is currently like the best-selling. Uh, gaming premium gaming handheld device the report also claims that nvidia is serious about making this uh, more handheld gaming devices using their graphics ip so basically they are the ones who make uh the main graphics cards like the i think it's gtx and stuff like that so now they're thinking hey look let's make a new uh handheld device so pretty cool we'll be interested in seeing that how that plays out and in our last bit of news, speaking of gaming, Warner Brothers is now erasing games as it plans to delist all of the Adult Swim published titles. So no Rick and Morty VR, Rick Morality, however it's called, no more Duck Game, all those are going to be taken off of the platform, Steam, PlayStation, Xbox. What does that mean? So that means like you can't, I can't buy, them. buy it or I can't play it. 
Okay, okay. You okay, should okay. be able to play it as long as it's it. downloaded. If it's not downloaded, I don't know if it'll let you re-download it because it's going to be delisted. No, you should still you be can't able re-download it. You should still be able to. No, you can't. But I remember no. with um, PT, that was a demo of Silent Hill, or it's a demo of whatever. I'm assuming Silent Hill. Once that was delisted, you couldn't even re-download it. Like it'll say it's in your library, but you can't that, even re-download it. I, I don't want to give out false information and say yes, but what I'll say is make no, sure you download I, I can it. Now. Tell you this. That's just, that's the thing that Sony is doing right now. So Sony's trying to go all digital. So when you buy a game, they can take it out to your library. If you like, they don't got the license for the game or this stuff. So that's pretty much what Warner Brothers. And how they, that's how the game industry is moving right now. It's, you can take it out to the library even though you just pay for it. You're pretty much running the game. They want to have yeah. control over you. You yeah. gotta buy to use that. You gotta pay to use their game. Yeah, when you buy the digital game, it is just a license for you to use it at that time. And in the, what is it called? End user license agreement, the EULA, yeah. it says at any time we can revoke your access to this license, even though you've already paid. And when you buy a physical game, you better hope that, you know, it's not just a, uh, what's that thing called? A key for you to download the game. Like the game's not actually on disc. Cause sometimes it'd be like, oh, well the game's not really installed. This is just a key basically for you to go on the internet and download the actual game. Yep. That's how most of the games are now. That sucks, dude. What's Philly AJ? What do you call a bunch of strawberries in a band? Bandwidth. A jam session. Haha, <laughs> that's the dad joke for today. All right. Topic number <laughs> one. This is going to be our Dune Part 2 spoiler review. So, me and Elbow, we went to go see Dune Part 2, and I have thoughts. And this is all spoilers, so if you haven't seen it yet, turn your ears off and open your eyeballs and just look at the screen move. Alright, so, overall, or at least opening of the movie, like just watching it from the beginning, first impressions, I was like, okay, this is, this is alright, pretty good. I wish I had seen it on a bigger screen. Um, what were your opening impressions, Elbow? Uh, I thought it looked really good. Like I said, it looks like it's definitely made for IMAX. So I was going to go see it again probably this weekend. <laughs> I, was, um, yeah, I was thinking about seeing but, it again, but I'm like, ah, I can't dedicate that much time. I don't have that much time to do. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it looked really good. The I thought what really stood out to me was the acting. Man, everybody crushes it so hard in that movie. That was about to be my next character. How did you feel about the main character? It could be any character. How did you feel about their performances? I guess start with the main characters, though. So, uh, Timothy Chalamet, like I said, is my favorite new actor. Okay. Uh, he's a beast. Yep. Uh, I loved him in Wonka. Loved him in The King. And now he just crushes it. Um, I feel like in the first Doom movie, he's trying to come into himself. And in this one, he really finds himself and he really becomes lord of trades and, and no he did uh, he, he, did. he crushed it through he, the whole um, movie he started sipping on that scissor and bull was feeling himself i said okay <laughs> okay he got that oh, spice in him he got yeah. that spice in him bro <laughs> yeah he started feeling himself and that that part when he was talking to the crowd of people i think he came bursting in and they were saying something uh or maybe it was chani that came bursting in and the bull was like yo sit down before you get us all clapped but he was just saying like you gonna listen to me i was like oh oh okay okay brother we listening to you it was crazy when he's uh the what i thought was his best scene you can't even see his face he walks into the throne room everybody like is just like stunned like oh crap he walks into the throne room he just kills baron harkonnen with a quick like stroke to the heart then he's then he like gives a couple orders and walks back out you can't even see his face. You can only see his eyes. Oh, he he crushes it in that scene, man. He's so good. Yeah, yeah. So performances were solid. Um, at least we just talked about Timothy Chalamet. I think the mom did a good job. Yeah, too. Timothy Chalamet. Oh yeah, she she's really good. Uh, Zendaya. I mean, Zendaya was really good, man. And obviously, you don't even have to say. You don't That's even have to say time. Austin Baker. <laughs> you don't even have to say Austin Baker's favorite author. He he probably gave it. He liked making funny voices. <laughs> That's what I'll say. He <laughs> liked just having fun. They said he was trying to sound like his uncle. <laughs> he did sound like his uncle. I said that in the movie. I'm like, yo, he sounds just like um, I don't even know the actor's name, but he sounded like uh, Harkonnen, Baron Harkonnen. I was like, That's pretty cool. Yeah. 
Um, Batista, I, I mean, his, maybe it's just the writing on his character. I didn't, he didn't do nothing for me in this movie. He didn't do nothing for me. So Rabon is supposed to be like that, just kind of a meathead okay, that okay. is there just to make just to make Fade Rafa look better, and that is literally Baron Harkonnen's plan for most of the book. Gotcha. Like gotcha. he's there to be, just be a meathead who asserts our dominance and is there to make Fade Rafa look good. All right, so the Emperor's daughter. And I cannot remember her name or the actress's name. Irulan. Yeah. Irulan. She played, didn't do nothing for me. Florence Pugh. Florence, Florence Pugh, Pugh. Thank you. Yeah. She didn't she, do nothing for me. She was there. She was pretty, but she didn't do nothing. Yet. She's yeah. such a cutie. But she. This is not where Irulan, the character of Irulan. That you have to have more. Dude, like if they come out with three or four, then Irulan will be a character you will not like, but will it will give Florence Pugh a chance to shine. Okay, so then that's it for main characters, or did I miss anybody? Uh, I thought, um, um, what the heck? Who's the, le- the leader I of, the, his name. Um, of the, uh, oh, the, of Fremen? the Fremen? Stilgar. He, yeah, Stilgar, Stilgar crushes it. Yeah. He's the guy from uh, No Country for Old Men. I he was funny name. too, because every time, uh, it, Paul did anything. anything. Oh, he's just he like, is, he's just, <laughs> yeah. uh, what the heck did they call him? The, there's some Messiah figure. I forget the name of it. La Muid. I don't remember. Muhaladim. Muhaladim. No, Moadib. Moadib is his name. Moadib and Usul is his name. Yeah. Kwisatz Haderach. And what the heck? He's so uh, humble. Only the Kwisatz Haderach would say, no, he's not the Kwisatz Haderach. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, he was really funny. And I thought uh, Josh Brolin. As Gurney Halleck. Yeah, he was good too. It's like his gruff mentor figure. Yeah, everybody everybody does so. This, this was a great movie. What'd you think of the plot? Did it keep your attention? Because even though, like I said, the first movie I wasn't into on first watching, when I watched it, like driving towards the movie, I was like, okay, I'm a little bit more into it. I understand what's going on. So for this movie, the plot actually had my attention. And I'm sitting here, and I never really do this. I'm asking elbow questions because I'm like, yo, man, just tell me what's up. Who the chosen one? Is he really the chosen one? I don't got time for this trying to figure out stuff. He's like, I'm not going to tell you. Just know I looked up what happened. So I already know where we're going. Um, so the difference. I would say the biggest difference between the movie and the books is the amount of time that the plot takes place in. Because in the books, uh, by the time he takes the throne, when they land on the planet, he's 15. By the time he takes the throne, he's 18, about to turn 19. So it's almost four years. Yeah. And his sister is born. His sister's not born in this movie. His sister's born, yeah. She's already like a little kid in the books. He, He has a son with Chani, and then their son dies. Yep, the second. Leto Atreides the second. Yep, remember um, remember uh, when they shot up that, that CH, which is just like that underground city? Yeah. When they shot it up and like all those people died, like his son died in that attack. Gotcha. Yeah, he condensed it. I don't know why he kept the time frame like so fast for him to immediately get his swag out. But yeah, he made some changes that make for an interesting watch because now in this movie, Chani's not a big fan of this whole um, prophecy thing. When in the book, she's like, I'm on board. Yeah, she's... It, it, the only thing is, like, you can see it. Like, you can clearly see him telling the future. It's hard to deny it when you can clearly see it. In and the, remember, they In the book, that, is it uh, not clearly seen either? No, that, no. what I'm saying is, I don't understand why she's so against it when oh, she oh, clearly okay, see it. Oh, okay, got you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because remember, also they well, said she that makes a strong point. It's because life. it's all bullish. Well, I, I can cuss. I'm sorry. It's because it's all bullshit. The uh, the biz, Benny, the Benny Jess- Jesser. Yeah, they, 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 yeah that's true. <laughs> that's true. Yes, but also they said that a man cannot drink the water of life. Every man that she has seen, and she's seen several. Every man who drinks the water of life dies. No exception. This dude drinks the water of life and he lives. It, it's the prophecy is. You will be the freaking chosen one if you can drink the water of life and live. I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm gonna stop you right there. He died. He only lived because she brought him back to life with her tears. Every dude that drunk that didn't have a ride or die girl. I was about to say beware. Every every man that drunk that died because they didn't have a ride or die with their tears all in his mouth. So that's the only reason why he lived because the mom was like, put your tears in his mouth. She like, ew, that's nasty. Just do it, please. Or she made him do it. I don't remember if she used the voice. No, she didn't use the voice on him on her. She just told she her. To convince, yeah. yeah, she just convinced her. Because it was like, don't waste your water, your, uh, your moisture or something. They always say that. Yeah. O- overall, 
thoughts and feelings of the movie. I liked it. It was really good. I give it a 9 out of 10. And I'm not even a fan of Dune. That was a good movie, but it's definitely not. I don't recommend it for people who are not fans of it because it's a lot. It's dense. Elbow, final thoughts. What you give the movie? Uh, what would I give the movie? A 9. <laughs> you copycat. All right. <laughs> good stuff. Good stuff. That's what it deserves. It, no, it does. That's why I was like, I can't even be mad at it. But I had to put the caveat like this: this ain't for everybody. Because if you watch this and you're not a fan of sci-fi, or you know, well, I mean, I, why are you watching a sci-fi movie if you're not a fan of sci-fi? Yeah, some people turn on just the TV just to see. Oh, this movie got a nine out of ten. Like, all right, they say. I'm going to give you a better example. They say 100 best movies, Citizen Kane. I don't know what genre that is, but are you thinking, oh, let me watch Citizen Kane. And you watch it, you like, oh, it's this is not noir. for me. It's a noir movie? Yeah, and I like noir. But <laughs> I might not like old school noir. I might like the modern day interpretation of noir because it's always a remix. So, just that. All right. Time for... Oh, wait. AJ, do you have any thoughts on this movie? You might not have seen it. I don't know. I don't like them. Gotcha. I'll turn, I'll turn the first one back on got 45 minutes back into where I got to before, I said, bro, I really don't like this. Fair and enough. That's it. This, this is going to be funny then. Alright, so time for our rant section. Sipping tea, I mean, sipping tea, where we do a rant. Um, Elbow, you're, I mean, West Philly, you're our guest. What rant do you have for us today? Could be good or bad, just get it off your chest. Don't you hate when people like man at you when you're wearing work, bro? Mm -hmm. but like, that that really is even throwing you out your green. Like, why are you micromanaging me? Like, I know what I'm doing. Get off my back just because your boss on your back and shut. Yeah, I ain't gonna keep going. Fair enough, fair enough. Elbow, what you got for us this week? Uh, yeah, so, um, I feel like I've had more free time on my hands than normal. Uh, because, uh, you know, I normally play kickball on Thursdays. Uh, and I, that is back. I felt like nobody wanted to do anything for a long time, right? <laughs> now that I got kickball again on Thursdays, everybody got all these plans. Come here, come here, come here. Now I barely have any freaking time to do anything. That's what's up. A man that's uh, always in demand. You you always in demand. Demand rant. So my rant is I went to... Well, I guess I kind of have two, but I went to this restaurant Sunday. What was it yesterday? I don't even know what today is anymore. I went to this restaurant on Sunday, and they had a boneless wings for 50 cents promotion. So, you know, I was all excited. I'm like, okay, cool. And in my head, I had Murphy's on the brain. So I'm imagining the Murphy's taste, and I'm all the way out where I'm at. And then I go in and get these boneless wings, take a picture of them. It's all presented pretty. That's called plating. It looked good. I had samurai flavor. It was like a spicy version of, um, I think they said teriyaki sauce or something like that. And I bit, bite into it. It was just all right. It's like a three, three out of five. But I was mad because I was like, dang, I just I had Murphy's on the brain and it messed my whole enjoyment up. And then also got cheesesteak. And at first I wasn't feeling it, but when I got home and reheated it back up. Cause sometimes when they give you food, like it'll come out room temperature or warmish, not hot. But when I put it at home when I put like fresh out the oven, it was real good. So that was my I was just a little bit disappointed in my takeout yesterday or the other day. That's my rant. Alright, so topic number two. And it's funny. Because this topic is inspired by a conversation me and West Philly AJ had. So I was in a debate with West Philly AJ and we were talking about Dune and he was talking about Harry Potter. And he said, yo, Harry Potter is way more complex of a story than Dune. No. And I said, bro, you got to be trolling me. I'm not finna answer this. And he said, no, no, no. Hear me out. Hear me out. I'm being so serious. And I said, bro, you're not being serious. I'm not feeding this troll. He's like, don't listen to me. I'm being serious. So the topic is what storyline or franchise is more complex, Dune or Harry Potter? Now, AJ, I'm a big fan I, of I, Harry I, Potter. I, can't speak I just I can't got speak into Dune. Let's see, I just got into Dune. I'm a huge <laughs> Harry Potter fan. Complex, com it's not even close. It's Dune is way more complex. That doesn't necessarily mean it's better, but it is. No, no, no. Yeah, no, we weren't discussing better. We were just talking about complex. Because I asked him, we talking about which one's better, which one has more books. Because Dune got more books, but it doesn't make it better. But Dune is, if you ask my, um, I was about to say Twitter poll, my YouTube poll, we had 23 votes and 65% of people picked Dune as the more complex narrative. Why do you think Harry Potter, AJ? I had one question to decipher, and I'm like, you, 
I said, I just want to know, you can understand the story, but how did Voldemort die? And that how was, did that Voldemort was die? And my yeah, answer was, was all the Horcruxes were destroyed, and he said it was something different, so I don't really know. Yeah, all it the really Horcruxes were destroyed. destroyed. That, no, that left him vulnerable, but how he died no. was that his spell rebounded on him. Oh. No. I got it the wrong. Spell him down, the spell the Elder Wand that was already foreshadowed, already rejected, already what he, what he did already. So the Elder Wand was already going to kill the user who tried, tried to really use it. Which no, the Elder was. Wand doesn't kill its user. The only no. thing is the Elder Wand was not his wand. It was Harry's wand. Because yeah, you got to win the, the wand killed. from whoever's the owner. And he no, and thought that Snake was the, the owner. No, it's, no, it doesn't. The elder one doesn't it's kill you. Day in the book, in the books, that's how it goes down. No, no, no. In the books, so it's the story of the uh, the what the hell do you call it? The three the, brothers, uh, Deathly Hollows. Deathly Hollows. Yeah, story of the three brothers. So the the elder one, it does not kill you. The only thing is, it causes a bunch of other people to envy you. In which case, they're just gonna sneak and sh- like shoot, stab you in the back or something. They're not gonna fight you in a fair fight. They're gonna stab you in the in back. In reality, the one is killing you. So yeah, so I get I get it. Back. In reality, the one they killed and it's plain, and simple turn, lame turn, because what went down? Uh, no, the one's not killing you. Other people are killing you. That's like saying if I had the ten thousand dollars in a bag. And then somebody shot me for it. Then that ten thousand dollars killed me. No, the guy shot me in my head. <laughs> Goddamn, ten thousand dollars always killing people. <laughs> Why would you want to check? Why would you want to At least. I mean, with the st- with the state, the current state of Philadelphia, I think ten thousand dollars is enough for you to die. <laughs> it's sad. You actually right. No. Well, I've asked Reddit, and some people on Reddit who were Harry Potter fans responded to me. The Dune subreddit instantly blocked me. They said, get out of here. And I was like, okay. I mean, I was on y'all side, but okay. <laughs> so don't even <laughs> ask us something like that. That's disrespect. Yeah, so that, they blocked you? Yeah. Um, so on Reddit, someone asked Ninja No Pants. Maybe in the edit, I'll throw his name up. But Ninja No Pants, he said, I've read Dune. And the book's written by the original author's son. The story is far, far more complex than the Harry Potter series. I love Harry Potter, and I also love the Dune books. I honestly like the son's prequel to the Dune series as a whole lot more than the Dune story seen in the movies. But it's because it explains everything. He said, both are worth reading and watching at the end of the day. Harry Potter's nostalgic for me. Dune I read as an adult and watched the old movie. And I have more. An old... What's to say? Oh, of an old republic on Reddit says... Having the conversation with your friend is kind of pointless since neither of you has read a single Dune book, but you're correct going by the <laughs> books. Dune is a much... <laughs> yeah, he's just bad. I'm talking about, I'm talking about, I'm talking about. He just... He what? He just... I think he just big-timed you. He big-timed us, but he put an emoji. He put a very nice emoji that was very friendly looking. Hey, hey, hey. No, no. He said it respectfully. Oh, very disrespectfully. Where'd that come from? What you say, bro? <laughs> Uh, he said, having this con- having that conversation with your friend is kind of pointless since neither of you has read a single Dune book. But he put like a smiley face, like a, I'm coming at you, yeah, but like it's all friendly. But he said, you're correct that going by the books, Dune is a much more complex story. I could see how, uh, though, someone who's only seen the first of the new movies could believe that Harry Potter is a more complex world. But the piece that you're missing is that while Harry Potter movies may show 10% of what's in the book, the first Dune movie showed maybe 2% of the first one third of the book and the real story of Dune starts where <laughs> the first two thirds, ends. Two thirds. Yeah. <laughs> uh, everything that came before in the book was just world building did he type all that in? yeah in, in one post yeah. too no edits okay. no edits all right, so what I'm about to say is I just want to see how um, HBO Max and um, portray Harry Potter how it's supposed to be portrayed from the books to really show it not just ten percent. Give me eighty five percent. Yeah, because we getting a TV show we, this time, I believe, right? It's a TV show. Yeah, 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 yeah TV show. Yeah, TV show. Let me see how it go. Do you? Are you convinced now? Have you been converted? Because I have no, more I'm Reddit not, posts. No, I'm still. No, I'm still not convinced. I can tell you. Okay, cool. Well, yeah, but why out. the Harry Potter? Wait, 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 is, wait, wait, hear me out. When it comes to uh, uh, complexity, right? Complexity, I meant, right? Yeah. Is it whoever was watching the show? In the order movie, and like, okay, cool. They know this, 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 and the third, but they can watch something else. I'm like, bro, what just happened? This, this. When I watch, like, doing, I'm like, okay. Now I, can't, I forgot exactly what I'm watching that 45 minutes. I start getting bored. really nothing. I don't even. He might have just landed on Arrakis in the first 45 minutes. Might have. 
Okay, that's probably that, that's probably where the movie probably started actually going into details and stuff, really, and it didn't get me at all. Fair enough. That's like me watching. That's like me watching Game of Thrones. People said, "Bro, you gotta watch the whole first season and the second season is where it pick up." But and to answer I'm your like, question, because you said, "What is uh, complexity?" It is part of what your mind can understand, and it's also a part of. Uh, sorry, it's not a part of what your engagement level is, because you being engaged yeah. or not engaged doesn't have anything to do with how complex it is. But how your mind interprets it is a part of it. But then also, what's a part of it is how many characters in the story, how many narrative plots are going on. To me, that's what makes things complex. How many characters are okay. involved in the story? How many narrative threads are involved in the story? I think I know why I didn't like it because I watch a lot of anime and a lot of characters goes on, and I'm like. Well, I don't like none of these characters. I'm, I just can't. I just don't dig it. That's what no, it but I, I wasn't asking for I a, uh, a no, no, bias. No, I, I just wanted no. to know what you thought objectively, yeah. which one was more complex. Not your bias, which, which franchise you Potter prefer. Then I think Harry Potter is. The, the, the Magic World still fascinated me, and be, I'll be throwing off like a toppy turvy. The Magic uh, War. So I, said, I, I read I said, a I said, lot I said, of no, fantasy. I said, the, I said the Magic World. 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 The Wizarding World. The, the Magic wizarding, World? The wi- yeah, the Wizarding, the wizarding World. It fascinates him, he said. I, I read a lot of fantasy, bro. Like, the magic system in Harry Potter is probably the most basic. I'm not saying that. But I said it fascinates me, and I'm like, damn. No, but that's what I'm telling you. I'm not talking about that. what's more yeah. fascinating to you. I'm asking you, which no, one do you think I'm saying, objectively? Man, I'm not, I'm not still be like, how the hell could that just happen like this? But the boy did this. I'm like, I... Oh, okay, I get it. So you're still like intrigued by it because you're still trying to figure out how it works. Okay, I got you. I got you. Did you know I, I learned this in Hogwarts is, Legacy? Yeah. Wait, you just said you was trying to figure out how it works. You understand it, or you trying to figure out how it works? Which one? No, I'm saying like I understand how everything works in like, like I'm gonna say Star Wars, Doom. Like, oh, in Doom, you understand sense. how it all works. So you know how space travel yeah. works in Doom. Yeah. You familiar with so the Spice like, Do You understand how space travel works in Doom. No, I'm talking about when I watch it, like when they run, oh, it's understandable. Like when I play them, like when I play them games, watch some type of movies, I understand. Oh, okay, it's cool, understandable, it. but it's super complex. Yeah. Look, so but it don't feel, it don't, it don't you feel understand how space me. travel. You understand how space travel works and do. I gotta watch the movie. I'm not gonna explain it. I gotta get past 45 <laughs> minutes. Sorry, I can tell. I mean, you know, in the beginning of the movie, so, I think they I was about do to go say, over look, it. This, and this is just, well, no, like, like, it was just this is just one aspect of you too. Yeah, this is so look so. Space travel, right? Uh, you have the guild. The guild navigators are the only people who can navigate through space. They are addicted to the spice melange, right? So only very rich people can travel through space because the guild jacks up the prices for space travel because they value the spice so much. But if you are in control of Arrakis, you kind of a little bit control the guild, or y'all at least have to work in partnership because you are the only source of spice in the universe. Now, Paul Atreides, now. the guild is trying to kill Paul Atreides because he has a monopoly on the spice, but they can't just kill the dude because that would throw Arrakis into a spiral and then they won't have any spice. So it's this, now, to me, is way so, more complex no, than then, it. That's just no, space travel. Saying, no. so That's that one thread. Crazy. That's I, one narrative no, thread. No, no. Let, me, let me tell you what Elbow just did to me. Right? And I watch a lot of anime. Elbow, I like how you explained it so much better to me than... D Cypher ever did, bro. Cause you know what you just told me? <laughs> you told me Bro, it's it's like this like in Naruto. It's a lot of different clans, Brody, and this is what goes down. Watch it. That's it. That's all I'm like, oh, dang. That's it. Layman's turn. Plain and simple. That's what he just explained. If you get it. That's what Elbow explained uh, or that's what Cypher explained. No, that's what El- that's basically what Elbow Oh, wait, said. I thought you were going to give me the contrast. How did Cypher explain it no. to you? How did I explain it to you? No. You basically couldn't explain it to me because you said I got no knowledge of the book or anything. You fair really enough, fair enough. Explain yeah, yeah, fair enough. Nothing. I, I mean, thought I at least know. said it was like Star Wars. I thought I at least gave you something. I, I didn't give you anything to work with. Fair I, enough. Right, anybody yeah. anybody, anybody no, can speak Star like Star Wars. Wars. Yeah, you said it was like Star Wars, but Star Wars is like still better. <laughs> that's how, pretty much what you said. Fair enough. I just wondered because I don't uh, remember the the exact conversation. Star Wars, any any douchebag. Yeah, sorry. Really yeah, Star Wars, any douchebag in space travel. Yeah, in, you get busy in the uh, Dune. In Dune, on, you can only space travel with the help of the guild. Yeah. Yeah. 
So it makes sense. When I said Naruto was certain and out, when he said that, I'm like, it's like different clans and Naruto can only do, it makes sense. And then you'd be like, I was just, little stuff. I thought yeah. I mentioned so, to you that it was different houses. I remember saying different houses and I said Game of Thrones. At least that's what I remember saying. I thought I did. You said Harry Potter, but he put in the aspect of, he wanted to say more just than this, this guild or whatever he just said. Yeah, yeah, person. yeah. He, yeah, he this, for sure. Yeah. I'm listening to him, and I'm like, yeah. I'm into Doom listening to him. So he 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 handled that with more uh, storytelling yeah, grace than I did for sure. Hundred percent. Listening, listening to the story. I'm like, I don't got no background. I, I'm just hearing him. It sound good, I'm, right? I'm listening. <laughs> it sound good. It sound good. This last comment, this is actually uh, helps you out, and this was from Wonderful underscore Painter fourteen. He said. I mean, everyone's mind works differently. Dune may come off to most of us as more complex due to a lot of reasons. Weirder names, different planets, several of the books featuring different main characters, more fantasy elements, etc. I wouldn't say weirder names. Yeah, but for example, (laughs) maybe someone with an engineering background, he tried to give you a big up, would have an easier time understanding Dune. And who knows, maybe that same person has never read or seen much about Wizarding Worlds and thinks Harry Potter is harder for them to get into slash grasp certain concepts. If ever in the world thought the same it would be kind of boring so this guy was in defense of you he said that you might be a genius that's why you understand dune more than harry potter but even with that even <laughs> with that explanation he's kind of saying that dune is more complex yeah he is 100 he, 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 he did say that but he's saying basically it's not complex for somebody who kind of yeah i get it who's a genius he said you're a genius uh, aj yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not really that. smart dude will be no. complex. <laughs> it's, not, it's not even that it's like when i say i watch a lot of shows with a lot of different things like my hero academia is one of them when i say check it out like little stuff like that where it's like oh, okay i can grasp what goes on if i actually sit there and really want to watch it oh it's okay cool but I, I just don't want to watch it. I'm, I'm, I'm like three fourths of the way through the second book. I'm going to read all six books from uh, Frank yeah, Herbert. I don't know if I'm going to start what? the books. I'm sorry. You tell me how the book is. Uh, so you the first one's you? really good. Oh. I would say that. Uh, no, let me do ahead. it in my poor man's <laughs> way. All right, spoilers for the whole series. You <laughs> okay. ready? Okay. All right. So our alleged chosen. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean? What's the whole series? I told you I'm about to start reading up <laughs> all six books. But my my version of telling the story is horrible. So I'm, I was gloss over a whole lot of stuff. I don't I don't want this. I don't want this. <laughs> all right, no no spoilers then. At least the first book. Let me hear the first book. You can call him back. Call him back later. All right. <laughs> At least the first book. The first book, right? The first book is good, right? All right. My interpretation of the first book. Our alleged chosen one yeah. is a teenager, and he's thrust into a life that he has not chosen for himself. His father is put into a difficult situation where he's been newly selected to run all the oil out the country in this place that only has oil. So he goes there thinking that, you know, all right, maybe I'm going to find this girl I keep dreaming about. Like, damn, they got some baddies. It's hot out here. So he goes there, but in meanwhile, it was a setup. They was chilling in the garden, the Emperor and this real fat guy walked through the garden and made plans to kill our main character's dad. He said, man, we're going to get this nigga clap. So they go to sleep, the main characters, they go to sleep, and then at nighttime, the dad walking through the hallway trying to get some milk, and he gets shot with a sleeper dart. And as he gets shot with a sleeper dart, the doctor who's supposed to take care of everybody, he said, I'm disobeying my Hippocratic Oath, but at the same time, here's a little poison capsule so you can kill the guy. So the dad gets killed. He tries to kill the bald-headed Jabba the Hutt guy. The Jabba the Hutt guy somehow musters the strength to crawl into the ceiling and say, ah, la, 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 la. That was the movie. In oh, the that's the book, movie? He, Sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, in the book, he was uh, too far away. Okay. He was able to escape. Meanwhile, our main character is having all these dreams, and he's seeing a future that he doesn't really understand. And, um, yeah, that's all I got for you right now. Hopefully that gets you hooked. How'd you like that description? <laughs> That's, that's only the first. Do. That's only the first movie. He could just watch the first <laughs> that, movie for that. That did not do nothing. And the first movie is not getting me hooked. That was terrible. It's a lot of world building. It's a lot of world building. Maybe I gotta read the first book. My like, yo, this is actually kind of. Cool. I didn't even talk about the sandworms though. I've just really on the spot, not great at doing this. Like, sandworms, see, that, that, that's not. That's not even like. If you see it, all right. Uh, so if you see it on your TV or your cell phone, you're right. It's not epic, but if you see it on an IMAX screen, if you go watch it in your car and you turn your surround sound on and you just listen to that John go like it's crazy. I'm telling you, bro. It's a it's lot of audio visual yeah. treat, man. Every space movie got sandworms. I don't care about sandworms. This was the first one. 
It's not who they did all it right. stole it from Doom. Yeah. I would say it's not who did it right. Who did it first? Sometimes, sometimes, the opposite of what Drake said. No, Sam, Sam is the man to me. Say no more. All right, say Tremors, um, Star Wars, Empire Strike Back when they land on that little moon thing. Mm-hmm. They stole that from Dune. You time. know that Star Wars took a lot of stuff from Dune. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of comparisons and different family similarities. All right, it's ad time. For more news, check out cypherspit.com. News from the nerdy side of the internet. Okay, folks, it's time for Guess the Movie. And to keep the Dune theme rolling, I pressed the wrong button. I have, I'm going to share my screen. It may cut on and off sometimes, so forgive me if it does. But I have images, and you're going to try to guess, are they from, uh, what was the franchises I picked? Oh, Dune or Harry Potter and bonus points if you can guess the character so you ready for this you guys should work together. I should I should I back out of this one okay yeah help out um AJ AJ is just going to look is that fair or sorry mm-hmm. AJ is going to be the one picking up all right how about this AJ answers first AJ answers first and then I'll answer correctly oh okay yeah that works but it's also a twist because you know I do the weird AI thing so you will inevitably be confused like having to uh, sorry you guys are roboting pretty bad you guys are roboting oh, pretty bad is it because i'm watching is it because i'm on stream uh, no it uh, I'm a, is it doing it for girls is it still doing it i hear you perfectly fine yeah um, a little bit um am i roboting for you guys no not at all you're not robot no. you're good you're good you're good on mine all right let's Let's run it. Let's run it. You guys are good for the most part. Let's run it. Okay, cool. So um, I was saying, what was I saying? Oh, it's it's the AI art thing. So you might have to help him out anyway because he might be like, well, I don't know who this supposed to be. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> I know people. Okay, cool. So here's a uh, relatively easy one. Let's throw that up on the screen. You guys watching the stream, right? Yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking. All right, cool. Guess the yep. character. You, you see it? I'm looking. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, okay. Sorry, you. Were, <laughs> I didn't know if it was like froze or anything like that. That looks like some cyberpunk. Nah, nah, I, I, I thought AJ would try to guess first. I was, no, I was trying to figure out. You don't know it's, who this is. It's harder it's be because. A long day. Yeah, it's gonna be a long day. <laughs> it's harder because of the AI Sheesh. thrown in front of it. So elbow, please do 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 I, help I him. Don't know. Say no more. Elbow, who is it? All right, this is, uh, Uso Moadib, Paul Atreides, the Kuzat Hatterack. Given his whole real name too. Yep, that's correct. There it is. I said Timothy Shallow, Shallow, maybe whatever his name is. Oh my bad, I didn't hear you say that. I would have, yeah, I would have definitely yes, gave, I would have gave you the point. I'm sorry. I know it's strange. He got that pointy nose with that. It'd be nice. Oh, hold on a second. Let me, let me be right back. Think about it. I'll be right back. That's Vegeta. Yeah, but who that? He said, this is he said Duncan E-T? Idaho. Okay, bet I'm gonna say that. Cool. Don't say nothing. All right. He ain't here. <laughs> <laughs> you said this is all Dune, ain't it? This is Dune too. Yes. <laughs> oh, he know I'm. He know I'm about to lose. All right. Hopefully, you guys had time. Who are you picking? Duncan Idaho. First of all, you know right the <laughs> elbow definitely fed you that joint. Yeah, correct. Duncan. Oh, you did. <laughs> there ain't no <laughs> way <laughs> you knew first and <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> He knew and I, first, and I him. first and I said, last name. Just, no, bro, right. I googled him just now, bro. No lie. I googled him just now. I said the person who looks black and um and doom, and that's what it came up. <laughs> I'm so mad. I don't believe you, but he can. Samoan sometimes can pass for black. All right, who is this character? Or is they are they from? Excuse me, Dune or Harry Potter is a part of it too. That's Gwen Stacy. Gwen Stacy from Spider Man. Okay, let's uh elbow. I mean, you you nah, back in this elbow? No, nah, this is Ch- this is Chani. This is Zendaya from Dune. Correct. Yeah, Chani. Uh, I think her last. I think her last name is Chani. Yeah, the robot on the red carpet. Well, the robot oh, outfit the was just, picture. that was just her red carpet outfit. That's not in the movie at all. In the movie, they wear these still suits that you can kind of see a little bit of. Well, that, okay. Yeah. So, so Deron, just for, the, just for the record, the Fremen don't really have last names, but her dad was, wasn't was a Fremen. Her dad was an off-worlder who converted to Fremen, you know, being a Fremen. 
Okay. That's why her dad, Liette Times, had a last name, but she really, she's a Fremen, so Fremen, I mean, she she technically does, but she doesn't ever say it. Oh, okay, gotcha. I got that from Google. That's the only reason why I knew that, because I was trying to look up top five characters, top five um, popular characters from Dune, top five pop char- popular characters from Harry Potter. So, who is this, or what franchise are they from, at least? So, this is definitely Harry Potter. Uh, he's I'm wearing the yellow. I'm gonna say because <laughs> he used AI art. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is yeah, AI art to three like off the Gohan, though, don't it? I use the. I shouldn't use this one. I use the Go. I mean, uh, uh, Dragon Ball Z AI art. I'm never using that one again. It's too difficult to tell who's who. Not so. Look, this is what. This is my logic right. on this one. This is my logic on this one, AJ. This is my logic. All right. He's he's wearing yellow. Uh, yep. I, I would say he's clearly a white guy. It's a Hufflepuff. The most famous Hufflepuff is Cedric Diggory. Now, yep. I don't know if he's a top five Harry Potter character. Fa- you know, um, Don't use that maybe, outside knowledge because I told you I looked it. up top five. You ain't got to use that part of the knowledge. <laughs> maybe um, maybe I'm overthinking it and this is just like Harry or somebody. No, if it's Harry, he would have the glasses. That's definitely here. AJ don't even know his Harry Potter characters. Elbow, who you got? Uh, I think I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna say Cedric. All right, let's see. Let's reveal the curtain. It is no, you fool! It's Neville Longbottom. Neville. First of all, what? Yeah. Go back to that first picture. Oh, let me see if I can get it both up side by side. Yeah, I got you. I'm no gonna start doing side by side. freaking way. No freaking way is Neville Longbottom. Look at the picture, bro. That's what crazy. Do you mean? That's the same guy. <laughs> same guy. That's... Same, same. same Yo, same. AJ, are you seeing this here? Are you seeing this here? <laughs> you going to try to give me Neville Longbottom. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, I accept it. I accept my feet. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Jillian called me. All good. Who is this? Guess the movie first. Trying to make it bigger. There it is. Who you got, AJ? I think I know who it is. That's Harry Potter. All right, Harry Potter. We we locked in on Harry Potter. I'm assuming. But why do they like tear up? Yeah, this is definitely uh, Harry Potter. But why do they like tear up between Titans on the face? With the hair, it's because of the Dragon Ball Z. Don't Yo, let the not, Dragon Ball Z distract you. Yeah, you cannot pay attention to the. Yeah, he don't know no better yet. <laughs> are we? Are we still yeah. doing? Dune? No, no, this is Harry Potter. No, you got to guess if it's Harry Potter or Dune. Harry Potter. Okay, now who do you know what character it is before I reveal it? Do you, do you got to guess on who the character is? I think I know. You don't have is. to. It's just for bonus points and for everyone's. Oh, no. Amusement. No, I don't know what it is. All right. Okay. So I think this is Luna Lovegood, even though. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. I think this is Luna Lovegood, even though she has a yellow tie on, which she should not. She should have a blue tie. All right. Ready for the reveal? Boom. Luna Lovegood. He's right. He's good. This, is, this guy's good. Can't get him. Can't get him. Good stuff. Did he change the color of the top? Nope. Hey, I did. It shouldn't have. Why? That's what. Yeah, that's because the computers are trying to fool us. <laughs> yeah, they trying yeah. to make a fool out of us. The computer is not on your side. Guess the character. Hagrid. It's the goddamn it's robots, the John. Hagrid. <laughs> oh, don't make me laugh. About the drop the... I know that reference. <laughs> <laughs> Hagrid. He's so he, I don't know. Hagrid. He's going with Hagrid. Um, You're a saying, Harry. <laughs> Damn You're. It. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to see if Elbow's confirming it. Elbow, you, you with that too, right, Hagrid? Yeah, yeah, it's Hagrid. It's Hagrid. Oh, yeah, it's Hagrid. It's Hagrid. You got. You like my? It's a saying, Harry. Uh, yeah, that was too funny. A little, little quip there. A little quip. Ooh, my Jesus. All right. Guess the character. Up. Oh, he robot. Guess it out. this character. No. Your audio just cut out so bad just now. Yeah, that's my crazy. audio cut out. Yeah, on my end. 
Sorry about that. For Guess some reason, this character video is always does that stupid stuff. I don't What know. movie are they from, at least? Is the main thing you gotta do is guess which movie they're from. Uh. Oh, crap. West Philly, help him out. Who do we get so far from doing? Who do we get so far from doing? We got Paul, Duncan, Chani. and Chani. Yep. Why oh, does he like he a samurai? <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of who's the. You got Gurney. That 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 might be Gurney. I don't like the hair. The the yellow. <laughs> there's yellow in every freaking picture, and it keeps throwing me off. Because <laughs> I don't think his hair is supposed to be yellow. I think this is Gurney Halleck. Uh, who, but who do we get from Harry Potter? We got Neville and Luna. Which means you went three, you might go three and three. Which means I probably should lean more towards Harry Potter. Nah, but you might be trying to set me up like that. You a sneaky mother effort. <laughs> I like how he's like double thinking, like, okay, could it be this? But then he knows he knows I'm gonna think that, so it must be this. West Philly, who you said it was? Is this from Harry Potter or is this from Dune? That's from Doom. That's from Doom. Okay. Why well, you say definitely Doom? I mean, it could be Harry Potter. It looks like it could be a Malfoy or somebody. Mm. Uh, <laughs> but this yellow hair, I just feel like the hair is not supposed to be yellow. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna say Lucius Malfoy. Lucius Malfoy. I'm gonna say Harry Potter. Wait, 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 say yeah, Harry Potter. You say Lucius Malfoy. Say Harry Potter. I will say Gurney Halleck. <laughs> All right, I like it. We split mm -hmm. down the middle. Answer is. Oh, it was um serious black guys. Come on, serious black. <laughs> Why is his hair yellow? I knew his hair was supposed to be yellow. <laughs> Bro, you just robot is so bad. He ain't robot for me, but that's funny. Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. Okay, let me uh, get the next image. Sorry, y'all making me laugh too much. That's crazy. Freaking yellow hair, man. Oh, I killed serious black. Uh, I feel like I want to say this is Hermione. What the hell is she wearing? A still suit, maybe? A still suit. <laughs> nice one. I mean, the <laughs> only prominent female character left in uh, Dune is Aralon, Jessica, or the Reverend Mother, Helen Mohayim. Uh, This isn't any of them. Well, you got no AJ now. He roboted out. So who are you picking? Who are you thinking? Uh, I think I'm going Hermione because and this is exactly why I'm gonna tell you. The fucking yellow. I mean, sorry, I curse. <laughs> Let me go back. This is exactly what I'm gonna tell you. The freaking yellow hair. It's this character is not supposed to have yellow hair. This okay. is Hermione Granger. AJ, you you condone this? Hermione, hold on. I agree. Okay, let's get the reveal. Survey says, "Ding." He was right, right on the money. My man can't get him. Can't I get him. What's this, up though. with this yellow hair, bro? Tell me this. I'm thinking this though, bro. Why? It, like that's not even the same tie. She got a medallion on her neck. <laughs> Ooh. They look like Charles Xavier on steroids. Dragon Ball Z <laughs> themed, you know. They always got to screw with you. I think this is Baron Harkonnen. AJ, you going to agree with that one? I can't get on Dragon Ball Z to me. <laughs> like, this thing is throwing me off so much. That's fair. Usually I do anime. And I should have stuck with just anime. I was just when I the first first person I did was Paul, so it was no mistaking who it was. So that's what made me go to a different art style, and I should not have done that. I should have just stuck with okay. anime and left it alone. But I went to a specific anime, I'm which stumped. gives everybody. Muscles. I really don't know. Well, before I give the review, I'm, I'm really stumped. Do you think this is a Harry Potter character or a Dune character?
what franchise do it look like they belong in? Well, obviously Dragon Ball Z, but which franchise do you think they're <laughs> based on? <laughs> It's cutting out again. You go by in bed. Oh, I was saying, which franchise do you think they belong in? Harry Potter or Dune? Did you say Dune? Dune? All right. Dune is locked in. Baron Harkonnen is locked in. Survey says, ding, correct. Baron Harkonnen. Got it right. Nice. See he makes it. I'm starting to look. I'm yeah, looking for the chill. Yeah, he, he already knows these Jones, so that's what gets it like tricky. I'm starting to look for the telltale signs that AI does. You can tell what they what they keep and what they get rid of. He's he's yeah he's been doing too many of these episodes, so he knows them now. <laughs> All right, who do you think this is? This could be any freaking body. Doctor Strange? You said Doctor Strange? It's not. I didn't do Marvel. I didn't know you were going to be on this episode. Yeah. I didn't do Marvel. This is either Dune or They're Harry like Potter. It's either Dune or Harry Potter character. That's what I will say. No tricks in this one because it's already right. tricky with the AI. Oh, no, no. That's Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. All right. Harry Potter. Uh, elbow, you locked in? Harry Potter? Harry Potter? I've never said no Harry Potter. Hold on. Because... Who's left? It's not. Uh, you know no, what? Me. It is Harry Potter. This is Harry Potter. This right. is Harry Potter. This is crap. I got Dumbledore. Dumbledore. Nah, it's not one. Dumbledore. How could it be Dumbledore? You never know what the I'm AI does. At you never know what the AI does. Don't say how could it be. Don't play Gary. That that high ass role. Just he might not got the hat on. The AI might take the hat off. So what? Oh, he roboted uh, out. Crap. This could be Duke Leto, but he had a beard. They wouldn't They wouldn't knock out the beard. That's usually what they keep. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely analyzing the AI. He's learning. It's like machine learning. Who was it? <laughs> We didn't. We didn't get to it. He's he's still um, processing the information, which is is funny seeing his his mind work. I like it. Wait, wait, wait. So we had Chani, Paul, Duncan Idaho, and Baron Harkin. That's four. We had Hermione, Neville, Luna, and Sirius Black. We got two more. One more for each. Uh, crap. Who do you who do you think this is? Agent Dumbledore. Dumbledore. He's no help at all. I'm gonna say Duke. I would say Duke Leto. All right, we got Duke Leto, and I forgot what AJ said, but here's the reveal. Oh, uh, it was Dumbledore. Lady Jessica. What? Got <laughs> What do we mean? What? You don't see the resemblance? What? It's uncanny. That's craziness. That re the resemblance is uncanny. It's a like for like translation. <laughs> yo, Duran cheating, yo. Oh, the AI is cheating. The AI is cheating. You got to blame yo, AI for he, that one. He cheating. He cheating, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was all of them. And you, you, you missed know what it, you, you missed know what Hagrid when you were going through your list of five people from Harry Potter. You missed Hagrid, so that's how you. Missed oh, it. that was the last one. Gotcha. Yeah, that's how I you mean, missed. I never would have got. I never would have got this one. When I made it, I was like, <laughs> I hate this already. Like, I think she was like the third First person. First of all, go ahead. I know what you did. You looked at this goddamn thing and you said, "Ha ha!" There's no way Lawrence gonna get that. Of course, today. of it's course. But I hated it because I didn't want it. Hand rub. Get a no, I didn't want to do it because I like it to be like guessable. This is not guessable at all, at all. Hundred percent, no way, no how. I'm looking at it, and I'm the one who made it. I would have guessed it. So, yeah. But uh, that that was that was guess the movie. On to the final topic. Do you have anyone in the gun line before we go to topic number four? Uh, no. Actually, people have been very, very well behaved this past couple of weeks. All right, there we go. 
Um, and then final topic of the show. I think we kind of already talked about it during topic number two, but I didn't know we were going to. I meant to say topic number one. Who is our favorite Dune? Ca- this is topic number four. Who's our favorite Dune character? I'll add Harry Potter since we have a Harry Potter fan with us. Who's our favorite Dune and or Harry Potter character from the books or movies? Uh, I'm getting the and. I'm getting the and, Bob. I think I would say that my favorite. Voldemort. It's going to be different. It's going to be different for all four too. I mean, it's, uh, damn, it's different from all four. Nice. Or you go last. You go last. You go last. I'll go first. Okay. I think Voldemort's okay. my favorite character from the Harry Potter movies, not the books, but the movies. He was pretty funny looking and pretty funny. Um, and then from Dune, the movies, I'm gonna go Paul. Paul's pretty good. Paul's pretty. Paul's my favorite so far. The books. Have I don't you have, read the I don't Harry Potter books? Pre- I've only read up to five, so I don't even have a preference because that was many, many moons ago. There's five of them, though. That's a lot. That's enough to be like, all right, you're my favorite character. Well, I mean, based on that, we only really see things through Harry Potter's lens, so Harry Potter would be my favorite. I remember being sad when the, the boy died. You gotta read the uh, book. What's the boy that died on Gobble of Fire? I don't want to say Cedric. Then, Is it Cedric? Cedric. It's Cedric. Yeah, but he wasn't my favorite. In the movie, he was, you know, a little bit more brought to life. But I think he had went on a date with Hermione or something, and I was like, "Yo, f this guy!" Nah, nah, nah. No, 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 no. That was somebody uh, else. No, Cedric. Cedric took uh, Cho, okay. who was uh, the Asian chick that Harry liked. Yeah, I knew it was some reason that made me kind of little, little mad at Cedric, but he he deserved to go out like that. That's all I'll say. He deserved he to go out. He knew like nothing. That. He went out with a sexy girl. Harry should have. No, no, I'm talking about the way he died. The way he died, he didn't deserve to go out like that. Go out like that. But you said you didn't like him for some reason. I thought because he took, um, I, I misremembered, again, I read the books a while ago, I misremembered that whole scene where the, all the different schools came, and I thought he took um, Hermione from Harry. I misremembered. Harry never liked Hermione. In my version of reading the books, he definitely he liked Hermione. In my, again, foggy memory of the books. They're wrong. <laughs> I am. 100%. Yeah, Harry? Um, yeah, Harry. No, sorry. I picked Voldemort. Well, I guess in the books I picked Harry. We did four versions of it. Who was your favorite from the books or movies and or? AJ, right? Oh, yeah, AJ. AJ. Sorry, AJ. Yeah. Well, I'm back. What you say? I was saying, who's your favorite character from the books or movies? Books and or movies <clears throat> from Harry Potter. I know you don't have a preference for Dune. Um, I'm gonna say Lord Voldemort, but I like Slazar. I like Slazar Slytherin because he held his weight. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, whole, I'm a real Slytherin. Anybody in the Slytherin household is a Slytherin household. Well, that's that's my favorite. Character. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm, I get placed in the traits and everything. I'm taking the Slytherin all the way. Okay. Lord Voldemort, I used to. He was standing on business, eradicating all muggles. And Snake too. Damn. God damn. They have a lot of characters. All right. Now for uh, Elbow. Who's your favorite character in Dune and or Harry Potter and or books and movies version? So my favorite character from the books is Professor Snake. My favorite character from the movies is Dobby the House Elf. My favorite character from the books is Gurney Halleck. And my favorite character from the movies is Faye Rotha. <laughs> yeah, Faye Rotha was crazy in there. Hey, Dobby? Dobby, the house elf. It's because of the uh, the sock thing or something like that. No, not the sock thing. Oh, I forgot what he did no, before question. he died. Are you a little, are you a little wing fan? Yes. Okay. Makes sense. Um, that, that's all I had to hear. Who's your favorite <laughs> character from the books of Lord of the Rings? Who's your favorite character from the movies? Well, from the movies, from- it's the. Oh, I didn't read the books, so from the movies, it's Legolas. Legolas. Yes. It doesn't matter. Books, movies, doesn't matter. My favorite character is Samwise Gamgee. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, AJ? If you, I don't know if you heard Lord of the Rings person. I've seen Lord of the Rings. What's the, what's the, uh, I don't even know one character. That's the one who like, uh, like he got set on fire. Oh, Dumbledore. Like, they like, God, what? <laughs> I don't know his name. I don't know his name. I didn't watch Lord of the Rings in so long. Alexander. Okay. You said the guy who got set on fire? No, I said he like he got set on fire. The guy who actually that. got set on fire, or the guy who looks like he got set on fire? Yeah, he got set on fire. Aragorn. 
It looked like he he be crawling like creepy with like two strands of hair, bald head. He's talking about Gollum. He's talking about oh, Gollum. Oh, Gollum. Okay. My precious. Damn. Yeah. Okay. My precious. Gotcha. So that's Dolly. I thought he was talking yeah. about. Uh, yeah. Don't you know Boromir and Faramir is dead? The steward of Gondor. Remember, he actually got set on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! All right. Well, that's uh, all I have for you, folks. Any final thoughts before I let you guys go? Um. Uh, I think we should do a segment one of these weeks on who's better between Dumbledore and Gandalf. Okay. I always have arguments with my friends. And, uh, yeah, we need to do this. All right, well, AJ, any final thoughts from you? Um, not really. I don't got nothing right now. No problem. But, yeah, we could do that with with Elbow Set. I'm down. Well, as you always, should put that on your. Uh, make sure you put that uh, as a question for your channel too. Oh, okay, I got you. I like yeah. that because then we're gonna pose it to the audience. Yeah. Well, as always, if you want to hear your topics on the show, you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and all those socials. And we'll see you next week. Same black time, same black channel. We out. <laughs>